And now, ladies and gentlemen, the match you have all been waiting for, the championship of all championships, to decide once and for all the championship of the world, introducing first your WBA champion in this corner from Atlantic City, New Jersey, and Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 212 and one half pounds, Ernie Terrell. Self-evident. From Louisville, Kentucky, now making his home in Houston, Texas, the heavyweight, the heavyweight so champion is the crowd of the reaction for Ali. At 212 and one quarter the pounds, Muhammad Ali. Now it becomes mixed, boos and cheers. You're boos for obvious match. reasons. Yeah. Your referee for this match will be Harry Kessler of St. Louis, Missouri and New York City. Your two judges will be Jimmy Webb and Ernie Taylor, both of Houston, Texas. Gentlemen, this is the big evening you've been waiting for. Look uh, at the three stare. knockdowns in one round does not and determine Terrell the fight. Is giving it right there can back be as to many him. knockdowns as is possible. We are enforcing the eight. This could be a long, mandatory. long night. In the case of a knockdown, we must score, must oh, count oh, eight points. What's the holding? What's the grabbing? In the event of a slip, fall, or knockdown, you go back to the furthest corner and you stay there till I wave you back. You both understand that? No low punches, right? Keep your punches high. Shake hands now. Come out fighting. Okay. Hold up. 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 Held for round one. <laughs> Ali surprises by opening strongly. Terrell has said he will take control of this fight from the outset. <laughs> now Ali is circling in the familiar movement. divides the ring by coming at him not in pursuit of the circle but diagonal. fights in close, he becomes the fighter that Angelo Dundee says he doesn't like. The old Terrell, not the one who trained from a distance, using strictly the left from a distance during the sparring sessions before tonight. It is the grappling, clutching octopus Terrell who makes the fighter look bad. We have one minute to go in the first round. Who 
30 seconds of the first round to go. Two quick lefts, neither doing any damage. The second one completely slipped. We have now 10 seconds to go in the first round. for the end of round one is George Chavallo. How did you score the round, George, and why? Well, how would I give that a 10-9 round to Terrell? He forced the action and got in some pretty good body blows. He out the champion in close. But I think the champion has much more poise and moving in a smoother rhythm than Terrell. Terrell seems a little too tense. He, he, he's uh, trying to follow uh, the champion, but he's, uh, his arms seem a little tense, and he's uh, not punching as quickly with the jab as I might have anticipated. The champion... You score the round 10.29 10, for 10, Ernie. For, the, for Ernie Terrell, yes. And I might quickly state that we're going to be doing this throughout the fight. George will score this fight as he sees it, not as the official sees it, not as the referee sees it. He will score it unofficially, but with the practiced eye of his experience in boxing. We're getting ready for the bell for round two. Experts think that Ernie will lead in this fight for the first seven or eight rounds. And then tie. Ali is pulling a little of the stuff that he pulled in the first fight against Liston in Miami Beach. That simple little paw. becomes the octopus when he has you against the ropes or in a corner. George, Ali has not been able to penetrate Terrell, really, has he? That's right. He's trying to, I, mean, I think I'll embarrass him. He's trying to humiliate him. And uh, I think he's trying to pick up his pace right now. He's going a little more often right now. Both holding, Harry Kessler said, as he broke them apart. tried to prove he had a right there. He missed, but he showed he'd at least throw it. As far as Ernie's concerned, they've called him the one-armed bandit too long. However, I must say Ali is scoring more now with that left jab, wouldn't you, George? That's right. He's throwing it more now. It's making more with it. We have 40 seconds left in round two. is looking for is a Terrell left and then the dropping so that he can cross with a right over it. Left beginning to get through between the gloves. We have five seconds left of round two. Ali's left that is. There's the bell for round two. Once again the scoring of it as seen by George Chavallo. Well, this round was completely the reverse of the first round, as far as the scoring goes, Howard. I give it a 10-9 to Muhammad Ali. I think he's uh, still moving in a smooth rhythm. And he got his punches out better in the last half of the round than the first. He started to score with the left jab and tried a couple of one-twos. But Terrell still is trying to be rough on the inside, and I think he's trying to wear down Muhammad Ali. But uh, he's not too effective on the inside, although he tried to, to work his up, it's in well in the far corner. 
but uh, his movements are scampery, and this is what I think uh, will tire Ernie out. He seems to be a little too tense, whereas uh, Ali is moving around still in a smooth rhythm and perfectly relaxed. Terrell said he'd take control of this bout from the beginning. Do you see him doing that in any sense? Well, he's only taking control uh, by forcing the fight, but not really taking control of the punching. Uh, Clay handled himself very well that round. Analysis by George Chavallo as we await the start of round three. Best work, George. That's why it seems to be very effective this part of the round on the inside. That's the octopus. And nowhere in evidence up to this point is either the Ali shuffle or the double clutch shot. Whatever that may be. He is really the aggressor, Terrell is, up to this point in this round, although he did no damage in that last series of attempted blows. whole strategy this round, George. That's right. As a matter of fact, uh, most people thought that uh, Terrell was doing the holding. It's the champion is doing the holding. And the champion is coming on now. You know from first-hand experience, Terrell can make any fighter look bad. Right. I think that left hand is sticking out. But right now, he's trying to be a rough fighter. And he's doing a pretty good job of it. One minute to go in this round three. Ernie's left eye is getting red in the corner, George. Have you noticed? That's right. It's got a little, uh, looks like a slight abrasion. That's because Ali's left is beginning to get through in between those gloves. And Ernie's been keeping up, in general, effectively. 30 seconds to go in round three. I think Ali's getting a little annoyed, don't you, George? Right. the end. There it is. The bell for round three. George, you're scoring in that. Well, I scored the same as I scored in the second round, Howard. I give the champion ten. I give the Terrell nine. Terrell started fast, as you saw it, but Ali overcame it. That's right. He picked up the pace and started to put his punches together. Uh, Terrell started to rough up the champion in the first part of the uh, round, but later on, uh, the champion moved on very well, got himself off the ropes, and put his punches together very well. He's working on Ernie's eye, or has been, right now. There is, as you said, a slight abrasion, and the left eye is quite bloodshot. That's right, it is. Terrell has got his hands up very well. He blocked a lot of the uppercuts and hooks, but the left jab has been getting through. Doesn't seem to be any danger yet of a cut over that left eye, and yet he put something on. Yes, but the, the eye is uh, swelling, Howard. We're ready for the advent of round four. Said he wouldn't go to a stomach bullet. <laughs> you never know what can happen in a fight. That 
Lost to Terrell, we all know. From the bout against George in Canada, from the bout against Doug Jones, and so many of the others, he's won 39 out of 43 in his career. out of trouble. What was Ernie's complaint there as you saw it, George? I'm not sure. I think he said he got a thumb in the eye. His eye is looked like he said the glove wasn't closed. <laughs> Referee Kessler could deduct if he agreed with Terrell. <laughs> yes. Damaging Terrell's eye strongly now. One minute to go in round four. It's amazing. Terrell came at him and at him, and the champ slipped that last one beautifully. And so Ernie has him against the ropes and pounds to the back. 30 seconds to go in this round. The crowd gets excited. We have 10 seconds to go. Terrell remains unafraid, but he is not doing the damage that the hopeful crowd reaction would indicate. That's the bell for round four. How do you score that one, George? This one I scored even, Howard. Uh, uh, Terrell outrupped the champion. Uh, he got him uh, with a good right hand in the far corner, hit him with a good left hook near the end of the round, in this uh, corner. But uh, he was getting too much with the left hand, although he did force the action. So in that case, I give them both 10 points. Judge Chavallo unofficially between rounds, scoring each round and explaining why. By no means infallible. You may find later that the judges and the referee disagree with him. Scoring the fight as he sees it on the basis of his knowledge, his experience. Judge, I suspect that from here on in, comes the key test for Terrell. Are you now putting the ice bag over that eye? That's right, he's swelling up very rapidly. And it's not going to be an easy matter for him to fight off the constant swelling of the eye and the gradual closing of it. That's right, the champion's a pretty good uh, spot picker. There's the bell for round five. in against that injured eye. Crowd isn't happy with what's happening now. And he shot that left and just missed. Tesla just told both fighters, stop that holding, both of you. This is not what 
you'd call an exciting round. Got a right, right to the crown of the champ's head there, and the champ got two lefts right on that eye, George. Did you see that? A beautiful left hand. He's trying to take the over to complete it now in this round. He's, got, he's right within punching room. He's not moving too far back. He's right in punching room. Thirty seconds to go in round five. Not an easy thing for a man Tesla's age and size to break those two apart. We have ten seconds to go in the round. against the shuffle, the end of round five. George, score that one. Well, I give this one also 10-9 to uh, Muhammad Ali. He's really finding the uh, spot now. He's got uh, Terrell's eye really puffed up. It looks very bad for him right now. The beautiful thing about Muhammad Ali in this uh, particular round was that he was always in punching range. He wasn't moving too fast or too far out. He was always in punching range. Every time he threw the left jab, he seemed to find his mark. Terrell seemed to try to rough him up but uh, he couldn't seem to get to him. A funny thing about Ernie I've been noticing is that he's not fighting his usual type of fight in stance. He's facing to, uh, the champion rather than giving him the side. Rather than uh, try to use the long left hand, he's facing him, and uh, I think this is proving to be an easier target for uh, the champion. It's interesting. And as the viewers were able to see a couple of seconds ago, the minute Ernie gets to the corner, they put the ice pack on the eye, which is not now being as effective as it was a couple of rounds ago. It's a tremendous swelling and welch under that left eye. The beginning of round six. <laughs> Ali's going after that eye like he went after Henry Cooper. note incidentally scores of great sports writers from all over the world at ringside including eight from Great Britain the crowd manifesting its displeasure with the grappling assault. that was an air slip not a blow right George he just tripped the champion just tripped and strangely in his sparring sessions during the past week the champ slipped three times Angie Dundee said it was because they were over-vacuuming the ring floor. We do want to welcome our good friends over in England up in the wee small hours of the morning to watch their foul. A good left by Terrell there. boxing in Britain and they appreciate it. getting discouraged. He's getting uh, discouraged and a little bit fuddled, I think, Howard. You notice how high he's keeping his gloves. He doesn't seem to be able to have a real good defense with the jab. As we have approximately 30 seconds to go in this round, I'm surprised Ali hasn't gone more to Terrell's time. That's right, but he's not a body puncher anyway. Never used to be, but started to do it in the Williams fight. We have 15 seconds to go in the round as the crowd starts to boo the lack of action. 
Should have been prepared for this. This is the way Ernie fights. He makes everybody look bad. And that's the bell for the end of the round. How'd you score that one, George? Well, I give this one uh, pretty big to the champion. Uh, Terrell just didn't do much this round. He seemed to be befuddled most of the time. And most of the jabs that the champion threw hit Terrell. The eye is getting uh, worse than ever now. It's really uh, puffing up. The champion has still got his poise, and uh, Terrell still looks a little tense and looked a little tired in that round. Funny thing, the champ's face is still unmarked, and yet most of us felt this was the fight where in the early rounds he'd get marked up and quickly. That's right, but Terrell hasn't been using that jab like most people thought he would. He did, he's not fighting at all the way he trained for this bout. That's right. He was really pumping it in the gym, but as you'll notice, Howard, he's holding his hand out, left hand up very highly, and uh, he's using it more as a defense rather than as an offensive weapon. You know why uh, Ali doesn't like to punch to the belly, George? Well, I guess it leaves his uh, chin all the more open. <laughs> exactly so. And he doesn't want that face mussed up. Round seven. is right. We are only a minute and 20 seconds into this round. And Terrell is in bad, bad trouble. The left eye is almost totally shut. The right eye is now cut and swelling fast. a game one. He's on rubbery legs now, George. He's holding the hands up in an attempt to God. in the round and the blood is now streaming down Terrell's face as he comes back with an attempted flurry and lands a right to the cheek of Ali that Ali felt. However, Terrell's blood is now all over Ali's body. All over his chest. He's got courage. Terrell keeps coming at him. We have 15 seconds left of the round, and they'll go to work on those eyes of Terrell's as quickly as they can. That's the end of round seven. No intent, George, just one second to be dramatic here, but Terrell said, as long as I can stand, as long as I can see, I'll be throwing punches. Now look at it in slow motion. You see Ali moving in on him. Ripping with the Ali combinations. As you're watching this in slow motion, they're doing everything they can. They're closing up the cut over the right eye. They've got the ice patch over the left eye of Terrell. And as you continue to watch in slow motion, as you see Ali pummel him, George, how'd you score the round? Another big round for the champion, 10-8. He did everything to Terrell but knock him down. Uh, Terrell's face as he uh, went to his corner was a crimson mask. 
and uh, he's everything but fall down. He's showing a lot of, lot of heart. Slow motion, I think, showed you vividly the trouble Terrell was in. Now the bell for round eight. Now Lee goes right to the left to the face and lands to him. Now he's working on the right eye. Round eight. This was the round Angeli Angelo Dundee told this reporter would be the final round of the fight. But he said the sixth round would end it in Germany against Mildenberger. And once again, you have to win it in the ring, not from the corner. Joe Lewis has just joined us. Ernie got a glancing left against the champ then. Joe, your mic is now open. How bad do you think the thing is for Terrell at this moment? Well, it, it looks bad. You know, watching the fight, uh, watching Terrell fight, his best punch you not use a jab. You know, you know? That's the point Shavalo made earlier. He's not fighting the way he trained in the ring. Yeah, that's right. But look at his guts. Oh, he got a lot of guts. He got a lot of guts. Uh, But, but Terrell knows to have, to have a good left. And, and that's something he, he's not using. One has to wonder why he changed his strategy. That's right, uh, Howard. He's, uh, he's been made to change strategy because he's, uh, he's going to come around the face. So he has to use his left hand, left hand as a defensive uh, uh, thing rather than a defensive weapon. Exactly so. That's what Patterson did. Now he's hitting him again. Much the way he did in the seventh round. Ali against Terrell. That's exactly, you'll remember what Patterson did to Johansson that June night, 1960, when he recaptured the heavyweight title. He nullified Johansson's right, and tonight Ali has nullified Terrell's left. Clay, Clay is talking to Terrell. But he's asking what his name is. He said he'd humiliate him. I hardly think it's necessary. Don't you agree, Joe? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. We have 30 seconds to I, go. I think, I think Clay uh, can do what he want to do in any ring. happened in the ring it spoke for itself wait how you see what play action says what's my name <laughs> that was the big three-word question that was answered last saturday on television in advance by ernie terrell he said his name is cassius play how'd you score that round george shavalo another big round for muhammad ali howard i give him a 10 8 round he had things pretty well his own way that round is just using the left hand uh, defensively, not his offensive weapon, as I said before. And he can't do much damage when he's holding up to his face all night. I must say that the rail looks in bad shape. Certainly does right now. The viewers are taking a good look at him in the corner. Sealing up the right eye again, using the ice pack on the left. This probably the last round of the fight, too. You think so, Joe? He probably last round Prediction of the fight. by Joe Lewis that round nine will be the last round of the fight. Let's see. You remember it didn't happen that way in Germany, Joe.
don't you think if he was going to knock him out, he should go in after him more quickly, more strongly? Well, you know, tell the truth, uh, you know what I think now? I think Clay is acting somewhat like on the, in the fly pass and fight. Remember, he knocked him down in the sixth round. And That's why I asked you the question. Do you think that he's <laughs> deliberately doing that? I think so. You do? I think what so. do you think, George? I think so. He's just uh, letting him hang on. He's trying to humiliate him like he said he would. <laughs> Matters of opinion only. Trust the viewers understand. As you all can see. Ali is just using the left when he wants to and getting through now as well. Notice the gloves are no longer so close together, George. That's right. He's only up now. He's dropping his left hand a little bit, too. One minute to go in round nine. And I suspect, Joe, that your prediction will go by the wayside. Well, he just yeah, don't take the 10-second time out, so I uh, probably can stop the fight. Do you think the referee should at this point? No, not right now. No. The champion isn't doing any damage yet. For whatever reason. We have only 30 seconds to go in round nine. the end of round nine. How do you score that one, George Chavallo? Well, this round's a little closer than the last one, only because the champion uh, didn't care to throw as many. Uh, he seems to have Terrell pretty well at his mercy, so I, uh, and uh, Terrell still uh, has his eyes puffed up, but uh, Ali just isn't pressing things. Looks like he wants to go just a little bit further. I'd like one quick question of Joe Lewis before you go, Joe, and thank you for coming by. You are regaled as perhaps the greatest champion who ever lived. Well, Is man. Ali a great fighter. No question about it. Tonight he proven it. Thank you, Joe Lewis. We await the start of round 10 with, once again, it's become a redundant scene now. The challenger getting treatment over both eyes. is now just taunting him with words right from the opening bell. A good left, surprisingly, by Ernie. Although it landed high on the chest. Shoulder area. Very readily still, and he leaves the round virtually standing still, George. That's very true. Couple of 
couple of low blows by Ernie, noticed at close hand by Harry Kessel. I doubt that there'll be any penalty. Good blow. Ernie's best blow of the night. That's right, a very good left hook flush on the left. chin. One minute to go in the round. We said that it was very possible that Ali was tormenting him. Ali doesn't look that fresh anymore, George. That's right. He does look a little tired or something in a deep breath. Of 30 seconds left in the round. of those blows by Ernie were low, but the crowd understands. He's a tired fighter who was bent over. No malice intended. It's the end of round 10. I know it's getting very, very repetitive, George, but how did you score that one? Well, actually, I have a little surprise. I think this round was uh, even because uh, the champion chose not to do too much in this round. He got hit with a pretty good left hook in the first part of the round. But he did come back with a couple of good furs at the end. But Terrell did force it and hit him with a good left hook in the far corner and uh, was pressing with the jab. By way of recap, what's your total score at the end of 10? Well, I have Muhammad Ali uh, with uh, eight rounds, uh, the winner. And uh, he won eight rounds. One round uh, with Terrell and one even. Eight, one, and one. You've got it overwhelming, then, for the champion and, uh, up to this point. In my book, the only way Terrell can win is by a knockout. Pretty well. There you see Terrell's face. that followed the left just missed and the left didn't really get there either. It was in the seventh round that Ali did his damage to Terrell. Ernie's been fighting on nerve ever since. keeps coming back. We now have a minute to go in the round. That's right, Ernie is trying hard, but he has a face the size, of, at least on his face, there are marks the size of uh, pecan nuts over and above both eyes. Kessler say thank you very much, thank you very much as he broke the fighters.
10 seconds to go. One almost gets the feeling it's the Green Bay Packers running out the clock. End of round 11. Your analysis, George, and your scoring. Well, it was a 10-8 round uh, this time, uh, Howard, for the champion. He seemed to have things pretty well his own way. Uh, Terrell started to force the action a little in the fight, but uh, the champion hit him with uh, pretty good combinations. Uh, usually the right uppercut and the left hook following. They both look a little uh, tired right now, but uh, the champion still seems a little fresher than the challenger. One of your old favorites, one of everybody's old favorites, is approaching us at ringside. George, this is a boxing match, but the guy is a boxing fan, has been for a lot of years, knows the business. Jolton Joe DiMaggio. He should be with us in just a couple of minutes, and we're going to bring him on, if only to say hello. Round 12 coming up. aggressive as this round starts it may be that he's going to try to finish it this time George that's why he's standing very flat footed and uh, throwing some good punches in. oh Terrell tried desperately to measure Ali with a right but as you saw couldn't bring it home Moving in next to us, for you general sports fans who are watching this bout, the guy who just walks with grace and walks with class. Joe DiMaggio has just joined us. The older he gets, the better looking he gets. Terrell's got courage, but little left, wouldn't you say, Joe? Yes, I'd have to say that myself. Uh... I think that Clay has still got plenty of left, you know. I, I, I think he, right now he'd like to uh, finish him off, but he's not giving him much of an opening, as you can see, Holly. You had the same problem with Bob Fella. <laughs> We've got 30 seconds to go in this round. I certainly must admire that man's courage up there, Howard. He's come back round after round after round. We questioned before whether Ali was just tormenting him. Could have put him away earlier after the damage of the seventh round, Joe. Joe Lewis said he thought he could, and George Chavalo said he thought he could. But now it doesn't appear that he can. Yeah. We're approaching the end of this round, a matter of seconds. Yeah, it looks like the play is becoming the tire just a little bit, and he's lacking the steam in that punch. That's true, and that, of course, was the end of round 12. And I can, speaking for George, Chavalo tell you he scored a 10 to 8 for Ali as we look at the shot of Terrell. There's the right that he threw so desperately that missed. I agree with what Joe DiMaggio just said, George, that Ali himself looks tired now. That's right, he does. Uh, previously, he looked like he could take uh, out his man any time he wanted to. But right now, uh, Terrell is holding on uh, desperately, and uh, Ali is having trouble. A lot of the punches he throws are being blocked by Terrell. Terrell has his hands up very well. But of course, uh, like I said before, he just isn't throwing enough. Ali should be tired. When one thinks that a week ago tonight, 
He was just getting back to Houston from Cleveland. Would you believe it, Joe, a week before no, the fight? He went up to Cleveland for farewell to Jimmy Brown Day. Spent two days up there. All right, round 13. Joe DiMaggio is leaving us to go back to his seat, and I'll tell you. Some men never age. your kind of courage, George. He's uh, dropped a very quick stand tonight. Doesn't have any chance of winning, it seems, but they still are uh, pitching, still looking to land the big right hand or left hook. For a guy who's supposed to run out of stamina, Terrell has done a remarkable job of standing up. We have only one minute to go in the 13th round. It begins to appear more and more likely that this bout will go 15. Been fort uh, Ernie has been fortunate in one sense, George Chavallo. The cuts are under the eyes, not over them. That's right. The blood isn't streaming down into his eye. If it was over his eye, he'd be in much more danger. The fight would have been stopped a long time ago. We have but 15 seconds to go in this round. That's the end of round 13. That's right. This was a little closer round. It was a 10-9 round for the champion. The pace sl uh, slowed down somewhat. I think both the boys are a little tired. But Terrell's stamina has surprised most everyone, I think, tonight. I think the seven or eight pounds that he has added in the past few months has helped him considerably. Terrell is now being examined by a commissioned doctor. He is, as you can see, or has just looked at the eyes and apparently given permission for the bout to continue. The left eye looks almost shut, Howard. I don't think it take too many more jabs to close it completely. What impels a man to go out there? His pride and always the fact that he has the chance. He still has a chance. After all, there are two rounds left.
what you've seen tonight, George. Do you still want another shot at Ali? I certainly do. Uh, Howard, I think I'm the type of fighter that can beat uh, uh, Muhammad Ali. In order to beat uh, the champion, I think you have to stand top and uh, keep on a sustained attack, which Terrell hasn't been able to do. Terrell is really fighting the champion's fight, not his own fight. If he was fighting his own fight, he'd be backing off and trying to nail the champion coming in. But he's fighting the champion's fight. necessary to describe that which you are saying. We have one minute to go in the 14th round. to go in the 14th. I suspect as soon as the round is over, the commission doctors will come up again. Chavalo has scored a 10 for Ali, 8 for Terrell. Some deeply sensitive soul, very nearly behind us, is exhorting the champion to do further damage to Terrell's face. <laughs> He's just told the champion that Terrell's face looks like a hamburger, but it's apparently not enough to satisfy this frenzied soul. That's right, Terrell uh, is now uh, having his eyes worked on. This is the last round, and uh, he still looks fairly strong. I think he'll make out the fight. I think he'll last the limit. I've got to respect that, Terrell. That's right. Uh, nobody expected him to fight to go this far. He's took up a very gallant stand. It may be said, George, that this fight was not an exciting fight, not an epic night in boxing history, but a night when a heavyweight champion of the world, for whatever one might think of him for other reasons, may have proved himself. According to Joe Lewis, he has. We are not judging the score. That will be done by the officials. But it would be terribly, terribly hard to see how under any circumstances they could give nothing to Terrell. 
You see it there before your eyes. It's the story of this fight. We have one minute to go in the final round. I'm not sure whether that's blood from Ali's nose or uh, blood that's put on him from Terrell. I believe it's the blood from Terrell. As you can see now, it is blood from Terrell, not from Ali. We are 15 seconds away from the formal end of the bout. I'm going to be going up into the ring. Once again, the round is gone by George Chavalo scoring to Ali. And according to George, Ali has won 13 rounds, lost one, one was even. Let's wait for the verdict of the officials as this reporter gets up into the ring to talk with the winner. Ernie, I wonder if you'd come over here for just a moment. Well, I've lost the earphone and it doesn't matter. I'm going to trust we're on mic and viewing those cameras. You know you've lost this fight before the verdict. Well, not until the verdict. Uh, he did an awful lot of fouls. He took my eye and rubbed it against the top rope. And I was seeing two of them. I couldn't know which one to jab at. So that's why I was wild. It didn't seem to me, though, honestly, Ernie, that you fought the fight the way you planned to. That you were using that well, left the way you did in training. The first couple of rounds was the way I planned. But then he took my eye and rubbed it against the top rope. I was seeing three of them from the third round on. Would you want another crack at him? Certainly. What do you think the official verdict will be? One-sided? I, I don't know. You still hate this man? Uh, uh, I don't hate the man as a fighter. I still dislike what he represents and what he said. It's unnecessary, it's not in sports, and he shouldn't bring it in. I respect all fighters for ability, but not for nonsense. Ernie, I want to say this to you. You've shown great dignity throughout the recent weeks and great courage. My congratulations to you. Thank you. We now await the decision. For Ernie Durrell, 138 for Muhammad Ali, 148. 148 to 138, the first official card. From Judge Jimmy Webb, Ernie Terrell, 133, Muhammad Ali, 148. An overwhelming second card. From Ernie Taylor, for Ernie Ali. Terrell, 137. Muhammad Ali, 148. As you can say, an overwhelming, unanimous decision the undisputed for the champion. champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Champ, you've just taken my earplug, which no longer matters. This is the camera we are looking at. First, my congratulations to you on the clear victory that you won. Second, Ernie Terrell, I must tell you this, has just told me that you fouled him, and that's what caused the damage to his eye. What's your rejoinder to that? I was just waiting for the excuse, and that's it. And I like to say, <coughs> as usual, always thank Almighty God, Allah, for making me successful as usual. Uh, with Ernie Terrell and to be able to come out of the ring with no scratches at all on my face. And I'd also like to thank the Honorable Elijah Muhammad for the religion of Islam that he teaches us in America, which has enabled me to fight so regular and live a clean life. And I also would like to say uh, this is my manager, Herbert Muhammad, who is the son of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And just before 
uh, I'd like to announce that the next thing for my fans that we will do is take a trip to the uh, the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, to the pilgrimage of the Holy City of Mecca as an uh, invitation of uh, ah. King Faisal. And I would like to say Herbert Muhammad here has guided me well. And uh, I'd like to announce that Houston, Texas is now my home. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, we understand all of that, and Muhammad, because you... I'd also like to say, Howard, many people want to know why I'm fighting so regular. I'm planning a fight in the next 10 weeks. And the reason that I'm fighting so regular, I would like to reveal this to the public, I'm donating as much money as I can to the uh, cause uh, of the so-called Negroes, 22 million here in America, battering the education for without education, we will never be able to integrate successfully or be equal. All right, now. So I'm giving uh, as I, much money as I can to the colleges. I'd, I'd let you go, Muhammad, as far as I can. You understand that. Now, I want to ask you some questions on the fight. First, whom will you fight next? Well, it's up to my manager, Herbert Muhammad. He's the boss. Uh, Herbert, who will we fight next? Let him well, 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 right now we're talking to the uh, managers of Zoe Foley. We, and we, uh, Where would you fight Foley? In New well, York? No, we, I don't know for sure as yet. Excuse my voice, I lost my voice, Holly. So, but we might fight at Madison Square Garden. They are bidding for the fight in also in Detroit. But we haven't decided as yet. We decide according to his condition uh, as of now. We check it out in a couple of days and see how his condition is. That would depend on how. All right, I have one more quick question. Did you carry Terrell? Could you have knocked him out? No, I don't believe I could have. I, I had a couple opportunities to knock him out, but he was so determined. He's a diehard. I didn't realize he could take as much punishment as he did. After the eighth round, I laid on him, but I found myself tired, and I saw that he wasn't ready to go. I knew that I had 15 rounds to go, so I had to slow up and pace myself and take him on points. And I think this proves to the public and all of the doubters out there that Ernie Terrell has no class whatsoever, and you cannot compare him even in my uh, uh, ranking. I don't think you have to say that, really. The man fought so a courageous you would, fight. You would say everything if I lost, especially you. Now I won, and let me have my say. Terrell, I proved that he wasn't nothing. All right. It's a joke calling him a champion. And he better pronounce my name right from now. And Chevalo was a much better a fighter. Chevalo was a much better fighter. George Chevalo here was a much better fighter. George Chevalo is on my list of contenders for this year. That's right. I just want to, but let me know more than 17 days before. And you will fall the next time. I, you will fall. Next. You will fall the next time. I saw something tonight that I'm going to utilize. That's all right. Next time. And next you will time, fall. Just let me know a couple of months in advance that we're fighting. Then you I'll take care fall. of business. Buster Mathers out there, Thad Spencer, and all of them. Mainly you. Get before them, you, will, you don't have to fight don't them. Be I'll, cool. I'll fight them after. You'll get I'll your shot. I'm tired again. of talking. I don't All care. right, the champ is tired, Muhammad. Come here. Let me congratulate you. Joe Lewis tonight said you're a great fighter. I don't need Joe Lewis to tell me I'm a great fighter. I've been telling you for the last six years. <laughs> Humility is hardly the name of Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is his name by his choice. The heavyweight championship fight, a clean cut, overwhelming. 15 round unanimous decision victory for Muhammad Ali, still the heavyweight champion of the world.